Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're just gonna talk about how to create a text file from Apex Code, um, and we're just gonna try and ma make it pop up somewhere in the file section. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna open up the dev console, and from here, we'll create a new Apex class. Um, let's just call this da, 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 create txt file. All right, cool. So inside of this, um, first thing that we probably wanna do is create a new public void. And we'll just call this ACC file. All right, so we're gonna create a text file of all the account names that we've got in our Salesforce. So we've got 13 items here. So we're just gonna try and put them all pretty much below each other. So. First thing here, just create a new list. Um, we'll call this list ACC. Um, and then from this list, all we're gonna try and get for now is the name. So we'll select name from account. And then what are we gonna need is an empty string for the file content. So just call this string file content equals empty string. Then we need a for loop. So this for loop is just gonna iterate through this uh, list that we created before. And inside of the for loop, we wanna set this empty string, oopsie. Set this empty string as, actually wanna add it. So add it at the account names and then just gonna add this in there as well. So basically um, what's happening here is we've got our empty string and we're adding each account name that's inside of the list. And all this part means is it's sort of, it's the end of the name and then it's gonna move it on to the next line, okay? So below that, let's create a new string for file name. And we'll just call this something like account name account names.txt uh, All right, so to create a file, we need to use a uh, content version. If you're not really sure or familiar what this is, um, just go check it out on the developer guide for Salesforce. Um, they've got a lot of stuff on this. So we're just gonna initiate a new content version here. And then from this, we're just gonna use the basic things that we need. Um, so if you type content and you put a dot, you should see all, all the options you get from here. So a couple of main ones that we're gonna need is title. So we'll just set the title as the file name. Oh. Then let's go content. Uh, da, 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 da. Path on client is something that we're gonna need as well. So we'll just set this as the file name as well. Then we need do, 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 version data. So for the version data, we'll just create a new blob here and set the value of this as the file content that we've got at the top. Okay. And then, yeah, we just need to set the location of it. So for the location, uh, Content, yeah, content location. So for this, we're gonna set this as S. So basically what that means is you get a few different options um, for where you wanna set this. Like if you wanted to set it inside of Salesforce or external, externally or like in the library. But yeah, we're just gonna use S for this one. And then we'll just say insert content. And yeah, sweet, no error, so that's always good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna go to debug log and remove all of this stuff here. Then probably just gonna need to initiate this class. So let's go, let's call this CTF for now. Create text file equals new create text file. And then CTF dot method name and that is pretty much it. So 
maybe it might be a good idea to just um, put a little system.debug in here as well. System.debug content. And let's put that in there. All right, sweet. So we've got that in there. Let's hit execute. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, so you can see here from the number of rows, we got 13. So that's all sweet. So let's go to debug log. All right, so yeah, you can see that um, something's happened here. So that's always good. Let's go back to our Salesforce, uh, refresh this. Go to files. Okay, cool. So you can see that it just created this text file, account names.txt, which is pretty cool. Click on this. And then we should see all of the account names on this page. If it doesn't take too long to load. <laughs> and sweet, there you go. It's got all the account names. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's an easy way to just create a file from, from Apex Code. Um, yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.